My name is Dr. Winona Thalalaila. I have training as a vet, but the kind folks I travel with often need stitching up, so I do my best to be a doctor for them. Because in my eyes, there's no real difference between animal and human anyway. I suppose that's why they asked me to talk to you about inflicting, taking, and healing damage. Let's start with dealing damage. Unpleasant, but often unavoidable. It can be such a hard world, or so I'm told. Every weapon or attack specifies how many dice of damage it does, what sort of damage it inflicts, and what its crit value is. Everyone has an armor value of the four possible types of damage, blunt, flashy, firearms, and energy. You can find them in the combat summary box in the lower left portion of the sheet. The GM will tell you your target's armor value against your attack. Roll your damage dice. Every die that equals or exceeds your target's armor inflicts a point of damage. Crits do extra damage. For every six you roll, add your crit value to the damage total. In addition, pick up all of the dice that rolled a six and roll them again. Any that roll another six, add your crit value again, and you pick them up and keep rolling until you have no sixes. On any roll after the first, you are only counting sixes. The whole armor thing only happens the first time around. For example, you are shooting a pistol at a very rude young man. It is a four die weapon that deals firearm damage and has a crit value of two. His leather ensemble gives him two points of firearm armor. You roll a one, three, and two sixes. Every die that scores a two or higher inflicts a point of damage. So that's nothing for the one, but one for everything else for three points of damage. You score two crits, pick up the sixes and re-roll them, getting a third six, which you re-roll a second time, but it comes up a three. That's three crits for six extra damage, nine total. Nice shot! All damage is subtracted from the target hits. When dealing with critters and non-player characters, they go down when their hits reach zero. Player characters don't go down so easy. First, they can continue to take damage after they have reached zero hits. You automatically lose consciousness at a negative value equal to your maximum hits, so a character with 12 hits drops at negative 12. In addition to hits, PCs also track injuries and wounds. For every three points of damage you take, you also take an injury. This is all explained and recorded in the combat summary. Every PC has six injury boxes. When you take an injury from an attack, roll a 6D and mark the indicated box. If you take two or more injuries from a single attack, the GM will assign a condition, a debilitating effect that that damage has caused. They can range from blood in the eyes to losing a hand. When rolling for an injury, if you roll a box that has already been checked, you take a wound instead. You don't roll for wounds. They are tracked from left to right. Anytime you take damage from an attack that inflicts one or more wounds, you have to take a toughness test using the difficulty modifier for the rightmost box you marked. Goodness, that was a mouthful. So, if you get shot and took a wound, but already had one marked, you end up with the two leftmost boxes marked and have to make a toughness test at a one difficulty. If you fail, you lose consciousness. If you have negative hits, you are also dying. On to a happier subject, recovery. After a 10 minute rest, all hits are restored. You have to be safe to recover, so you can't rest anywhere where you are in immediate danger. For every hour you rest, you may remove an injury. For every day you rest, you recover a wound. Resting while being cared for by a medic like me means you recover twice as fast. So, two injuries an hour and two wounds a day. Yay me! There are all kinds of meds out there that do all kinds of things, including spontaneous healing. They carry risks of one sort or another. Be safe.
and don't do drugs unless it's prescribed by a vet.